Ahoy there, mateys! Well, my Kickstarter finally came in. Batman, the animated series Shadow of the Bat by IDW Games. So let's open it up. Bat knife. Backers were getting a little spooked on this one when IDW announced that they were shutting down their gaming division. A lot of people get burned by Kickstarters these days, so I can understand why they're concerned. But all's well that ends well. Let's look inside. It's pretty heavy. Wow. All right, right off the bat, it's token time. Heavy cardboard. Ouch, what <laughs> All right, I'm looking ahead to get me the book. I need reference. Here we go, components overview. Ugh, that'll come in handy. So now we know that these are wound tokens and dice placeholder tokens, which I will not be punching just yet. Focus tokens and two faces coin. Round marker that's yellow and purple on the other side. I think these are status tokens. They have characters and such. Objective and more dice placeholder. More status, prop, and objective tokens, like cars, boxes, and vaults. Oh my. This looks like more of the same. And quite a few of these are double-sided, kind of with blown up and non-blown up sides. That's my assumption. Lots more, cool stuff, and it wants to fall out. All right, who needs you? I'll get it later. Terrain, ticking bombs, and boom! Same here. Wow, everything goes kerblooey in this game. But when you're Batman, the stakes are high. And that seems to be it for the first round of tokens. Here we have a pack of sheets and boards. It says cooperative mode. Game reference sheet and round tracker with Joker and Batman. These, I'm guessing, are the same on this side. All right, not exactly. Game reference sheet, terrain guide, and they're color-coded. Villain control board, and villain deck info. Neato. Scenario books. This takes you through episodes one through five, and six through 12. Na 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 na. Actual heavy cardboard playboards. One, two, buckle my bat shoe. And we're talking terrain. Lots and lots of terrain. It's just like with a house. Location, location, location. So we'll put those aside. And here's the minis. And I'm not gonna pretend that didn't influence my decision to back this one. It's taped, gotta be careful. Right, I'm seeing heroes and thugs aplenty. Man Bat being front and center. Mr. J and Harley Q. Cops and Arkham supervillains. If I put this back on, I can tip it a little safer. But there's the lot. Sorry for the reflections. And there's more stuff in here. Looks like hero sheets, heroes and bystanders and whatnot. The backs are different. GCPD, Bat Family, more GCPD. Batman is double-sided. And a bunch of villains and their henchmen. Catwoman, Harley Quinn, Man Bat, Mr. Freeze, Penguin, Riddler, Scarecrow, Joker, Two-Face, couple of thugs, a kitty cat, and ticking time bombs. I believe this gaming system is very story-based. In fact, I'm led to believe it straight connects to episodes of the Batman animated series show. In fact, this gaming system is compatible with some Ninja Turtle games that they made a little while back, which connected to stories that were told in the IDW line of Ninja Turtle comics. So each episode is based on an actual episode of something else that you can read and or watch. At least that's my understanding. What else we got? Snap-on bases for your minis. Dice of all sorts, and they're not stickers, they're engraved. Looks like battle dice and action dice, etc. Packs of cards, I see three. It would appear that these are initiative cards. Going by the backs. All right, well, some of them are anyway. And bat characters on the other side. Looks like these are allies. Alfred, Batman, Lucius, Leslie Tompkins, allies. Then a whole lot of villain ability cards. Cause villains are people too, even the monsters. This pack starts with more villain ability cards. I'd be disappointed if they didn't have some tricks up their sleeves. All right, so that's what those are. I don't immediately see these in the components list, but they have a character on the back, which I assume is the back, and text abilities, whatever, on the fronts. And I see them for Robin, Commissioner Gordon, Catwoman, the Dark Knight, and Batgirl. Let's see what the last pack has. This back looks like it's gadget cards. And there's a lot of gadgets, but Batman. What did you expect? You know, batarangs, call trops, first aid kit, gas mask. Knockout gas, search goggles, smoke bombs, throwing blade, you know, bat stuff. And finally, more initiative cards. Lots of characters, good and bad. And maybe a neutral or two. Anyway, that appears to be everything that's included in the base game for Batman Animated Series Shadow of the Bat 
Tune back in soon, and we're going to look at the all-in bundle extras. <laughs> yeah!